hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Osereme, and if today is your first time seeing my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you're the first to know whenever i upload a new video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to go about this bustier um dress is actually a bustier dress with an underbust corset and a um, box waistline so if this is something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get started So guys, to make this dress, you need about 3 yards of African print, any one of your choice. You're going to need a crepe fabric for the waist area and then you're going to be using a lace for the sleeve area. Now this actually depends on what you want. You can use any other thing you want to for your sleeve. Now to draft out our pattern, I have my pattern paper folded into two. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off by drawing a straight line across the top. This is the shoulder line and it can also be referred to as the starting line. From this starting line, I'm going to come down to my bust point, shoulder to bust point for me. I'm going to mark it here. And then still leaving the tape at the shoulder line, you're going to measure your shoulder to under bust. And then lastly, you measure your shoulder to waist. So I'm going to go ahead and draw straight lines across all the points that I've drawn now. So our label is the shoulder line, this is the bust line, the under bust line, and then this is the waist line. So on the shoulder line, I'm going to go in from the center by 3 inches for my neck width, and then I'm going to come down by 3 inches as well. I'm not going to be using this neckline, but this is just going to serve as a guide for this pattern. After drawing out your neckline from the center again, go in by half of your shoulder measurement. I marked it here, and then from that point, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. So from this one inch point, I'm going to connect to the top of my neckline. Now from the shoulder slope, I'm going to measure down to my armhole depth. For me, it is seven inches. So I'm going to mark it here and I'll draw a line across as well. So this new line is going to be labeled our chest line. Now from the shoulder slope, I'm going to draw a straight line to meet the chest line. This is going to be a guide for us to draw out our armhole. After drawing out this straight line, you're going to get the midpoint from the shoulder slope to the chest line, which I did with my tape. I got the point here, and from this point, I'm going to go in by half of an inch. Now, on the chest line, you're going to measure from the center, you measure your bust measurement divided by 4 and mark it. So, I'm marking it here. And now, to get my armhole, I'll be joining all these three points together to give me the armhole. Next, from the center again, on the bust line, you're going to go in by half of your nipple to nipple measurement. So I'm marking it on the bust line, on that bust line and waistline. And then I'm going to use a straight ruler to connect all the three points together. Now you'll come to your shoulder also and divide what you have on your shoulder into two equal halves. And you're going to connect it to this line starting from the bust point. So now we're going to be drawing out the bustier. So on the waistline and on the underbust line is where I'll be taking my dart. So on this part going towards the center, I'm marking half of an inch on both sides. Okay, this should work for a lot of people. Half of an inch on both sides is enough. So go ahead and mark half of an inch at the underbust line and at the waistline and join the both of them together. Now on the part going towards the side, I'm marking one and a quarter inch here. So I'll mark one and a quarter inch on the underbust line and on the waistline. Now, if you're on a bigger size, if you're very busty, you can use one and a half inch here or you can use two inches here. It actually depends on how busty you are. But for me, since I'm not busty at all, I'm using one and a quarter inch um, in this area. So guys, after connecting these points, the next thing you want to do is to connect from these points to the bust point. Now, you can actually decide to just do it directly without coming down from the bust point. So just use your ruler and connect straight like this. Another option is you come down by about one inch or three quarter of an inch. So for me, I came down by three quarter of an inch from the bust point and then made a new point. So I'm going to connect from these new points now to the point to the lines i have on the under bust line it's actually very simple just like follow what i'm doing on the video so i'll connect both sides to meet this point as you can see and then i'm going to just extend this point to meet the bust point like this okay so now once you're true with this the next thing you want to do is to determine how open you want this bustier to be now i want to come up by one inch from the chest line to draft out my neckline 
um, you can go up by more than one inch if you measure from the top to this area here you see that that's seven inches deep for my neckline so i'll just mark it here so i came up by one inch for my neckline so i'll just draw a line across this to meet the armhole like this and now on the part going towards the center of my blouse i'm going to just mark half an inch here okay so i mark half an inch here and then on this other side going towards the side i am going to be marking one inch so i'll be connecting these two now to meet the boss point so now the next thing i'm going to do is to determine the neckline if you want a straight neckline you can go ahead and do it but for me i want a little sweetheart neckline so i'm just using my curve to arrange in a way that it's going to give me this sweetheart neckline so once i was okay with what i had i went ahead to draw out the neckline just like you see me doing like this and now i have my sweetheart neckline and on this side i'm just going to use my marker to trace it into the armhole like this and then trace out the armhole itself so now on the chest line you're going to mark your bust measurement divided by four bust measurement divided by four so it's here now you're going to replace this dart that you took when you were taking the bustier area so what i had here was about one inch so i replaced it back outside here okay now next i'm going to come to the waistline and i'm going to divide my waist measurement by four and mark a point here now i will measure the darts that i have it was about two inches and i replaced it back from that waist point now i'm going to connect from the waist to the armhole to get the new sides i have not added any stitching allowance to this pattern i only just replaced all the darts so this side is the center front and this is the side front okay they will go in these directions with the arrows now on the under bust line i just want to use my marker to make it more visible okay so just go ahead and use your marker there's a reason for it so now we are done drafting out this pattern and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out So now these are all the patterns we are going to be working with you can use the full yoke like this if you want to now on these bustier areas here from the under bust line i'm going to cut it out in the area that i marked with my marker earlier so go ahead and cut it out so that we'll be able to get the bustier and the under bust um, area so this these areas here will be the bustier area and then this bottom area here is going to be the underbust area so i'm going to show you guys how to go about um, making it into a basque waistline so let's remove these bustier areas and go ahead and join all these three pieces together first joining them together is actually very easy because you're just literally just taping them just the way they are actually standing just make sure that one is not on top of each other so that it doesn't become smaller when you're done so now you have the longer part and the shorter part you will notice it when you're done um, joining it together so you're going to join the shorter part to another piece of pattern paper note the shorter part of this paper join it with another piece of pattern paper so that we'll be able to draw out our basque so i'm going to just tape it down just like you see me doing like this so once you're done joining it down you are going to now fold the, the paper again from the center you'll notice there's already a center fold so just continue with that and fold it into two so from the line where the first piece is ended just go ahead and come down by five inches now i'm coming down by five inches it depends on how deep you want your basque to be but i think five inches is okay and on this side come down by about half an inch or one inch so connect to meet the waist the former waist and then from the center just connect to meet the line that you just drew on the side so it's just like adding a v shape to the upper bustier that you had before so once you're true go ahead and cut it out and when you open it up you have it looking like this so this is how to go about the drafting of the under bust part and these tiny pieces here are the bustier area so um for the yoke i don't intend to use the full yoke as it is as you guys saw so what i want to do is like a little queen anne neckline kind of situation going on so from the neckline i'm just going to connect to the line i had earlier that i used to divide the shoulder so from here to that line like this can you see what i've done and i'm just going to go ahead and cut this off so now this now become my yoke 
okay and then this is the bustier at the top and then lastly we have the underboss corset part so i'm going to go ahead and cut all of this out on my fabric so guys after i was done cutting it out on my fabric this is what i had for the yoke i cut it out with the black um, crepe and i also cut out lining pieces for it for the bustier i used my african print and for the underboss part i also used my crepe now for the center front i added half an inch all the way around it's in a fold and for the side front half an inch all the way around as well except from this side where i added one and a half inch for the underboss part half inch here and half inch here then on this side i have one and a half inch for the yoke is just half an inch all the way around so these are all the pieces that i have and they were all cut in a fold with their lining so now for the bustier area i'm going to go ahead and open it up you can see what it's looking like you can see i also cut out lining exactly as it is so i'm going to go ahead now and iron hair stay to these bustier pieces and also iron hair stay to the lining as well and also for the underboss part i'll iron hair stay to the lining and to the actual fabric so guys this is what i had after i was done ironing hair stay to the pieces so now i have my wording here for some of you that call it padded whichever whatever you call it that's what i have here so i'm going to be cutting out all the bustier pieces exactly the same on the wording so i'm just tracing the bustier pieces into the wording so guys these are all the pieces cut out with their wording so you're going to place them right sides facing each other now so one side piece joined with the center piece make sure everything is well aligned and go ahead and pin it down at this point in my life i don't know what happened to my pins all of them are missing i have to get some new pins but uh, i just had to just demonstrate this for you guys with the little ones that i have so go ahead and pin it down make sure that you arrange it as you're pinning down so that um the curve will stay intact so this is what i had after i was done pinning this side down and you can see how nicely the booster is even looking before we even go ahead and stitch it down so i'm going to do the same thing for this other part as well and then go ahead and stitch along the areas that are pinned down so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching it down so i'm going to go ahead and make notches all the way around the curved area of the cup i'll do the same thing for the other side as well and i'm going to head over and iron all my seams open before i do that i decided to trim off all the excesses i had at the top of the bustier you can see some part where um the wording is showing in front so i just trimmed off every single thing to make everything neat and nice so i went ahead to iron it out iron the seams open and this is what i had so we're going to be working on the underboss corset part now you can see i've already ironed my hair stay to this piece now at the top of this piece go ahead and measure and divide whatever you have here into two equal halves so i'm going to mark the center here and draw it all the way to meet the v shape at the end so this is going to give you the center of this underboss corset now from this part here from this center i'm going out by three inches on this side and i also mark the three inches at the end and also draw a straight line across these are boning channels i'm trying to create now from this second one i'll mark three inches at the top but at the bottom i decided to mark two and a half inches so i'll connect both lines together and do the exact same thing on the other side of the fabric so guys i'm going to be attaching my bones to all the lines i drew out this is the bone i'm using and it's just about i measured it this is the smallest bone i've ever used it's just about quarter of an inch wide so i have this fabric here that i folded into two as it's folded like this is three quarter of an inch it's in a fold so i'm going to use it to create the channels where i'll be passing my bones so i'll stitch it on one side and then fold it up like this so i'll show you how to do it on the sewing machine so you're going to place the rough side of it you're going to place the rough side like this and you're going to go ahead and stitch it down straight make sure you're stitching very close to the rough side so go ahead and stitch it down straight after stitching it down go ahead and cut off the excess and now you're going to fold in the other parts like this can you see make sure it covers the first stitch you made so i'm going to go ahead and stitch very close to the edge of this other part to give me a channel there's actually a space inside for my bone to pass through now the measurements you are going to use for this particular um, bone channel will depend on how wide your bone is 
so i've stitched down this one side and i decided to go ahead and make a top stitch on the other end as well to just give it like a fine design but if you don't want to do a top stitch it's actually fine so yeah this is what i had after i was done doing it so i went ahead to do the same thing for all the other lines i drew out and this is what i have all my boning channels are ready and now we are going to join the under bust part with the upper part by just stitching it down straight so guys this is what i had after i was done you can see all my bone channels looking nice you can see the bustier looking nice as well so now the next thing was to work on our yoke so i'm going to place it the way it's supposed to be the bigger side is the shoulders so it's supposed to be like this so now i am going to place my lining on this right side facing each other so just like you see me doing like this so i'm going to stitch this down straight and do the same thing on this side just stitch it down straight on the neckline so after i was done stitching it down this is what i had okay so i'm going to turn it over right sides facing each other with the dress and then go ahead and pin it down making sure it's aligning with the armhole so can you see what i have here okay so i did the same thing for the other side as well and this is what i had once i was sure everything was looking nice and clean i went ahead to stitch down my lining piece exactly the same way i did for the actual fabric only difference is that the lining does not have any bone so i'm going to go ahead and stitch the neckline and the sides down so guys after stitching down the lining on the neckline and the sides this is what i have now for the skirt part i decided to go ahead and just do the pencil skirt part for the front behind the camera because it was already midnight i was already really tired and sleepy so i just had to do this behind the camera and just finish the front for you guys to see how to go about the basque effect in front when you are cutting out the front of your skirt don't bother adding any dart because um even though you add that you're going to still cut it off okay so now with that being said first thing you're going to do is to get the middle of your skirt on the waist which is what i've marked here and from that middle you are going to come down by five and a half inches remember earlier for the basque we came down by five inches now we're coming down by five and a half inches on the skirt because the extra half inch is going to be serving as our allowance to stitch it down so once you're done place the v shape on the point that you got the straight line that you got before just like i've done here just see everything i'm doing on the video and follow it and then trace it out onto your skirt part so now you're going to go ahead and just basically cut out the v on the skirt but don't cut it exactly on the line that you drew out cut it about half inch away so that you use the half inch for stitching allowance so go ahead and make a notch on the center of the skirt and also on the v of the blouse once you're through with this before you go ahead and join these two pieces together you will need to pass all your bones through the channels which is what i'm doing here um if you're passing your bone make sure that the bone doesn't get all the way to the end make sure it's at least three quarter of an inch shorter than where the fabric ended so that you'll be able to stitch without actually breaking your needles i hope you guys understand so i went ahead to iron the bone straight so that it's not looking curvy and now once you are done placing your bones you are going to stitch the upper part with the skirt part so you are going to start from the center pin it down on the center make sure that you are using those notches that you made it will make it easier so first i'm going to stitch down this side here can you see so i'll stitch down this one side first before i come down and stitch down the other side so i'm done stitching down this one side so now you turn it over again and from the center you're going to go back to the sewing machine and stitch down this other side so just like this and after i was done with the front you can see how the v shape is looking by the time i stitch down the side everything will look nice and clean so basically i just wanted to show you guys how to go about the bustier under bust and basque effect in front the back was just a normal straight back and uh, a normal high neckline it was nothing serious and the sleeve you guys already saw what it looked like at the beginning of this video so that's all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching